Hello everybody, this is Priest, let's download Windows 10. Open up your favorite search engine, type in Windows 10 ISO. You should add ISO because you want to be specific here, so you tell the search engine what exactly you are looking for. You'll see a first page, it says download Windows 10 disk image or the ISO file. You open that up and there's going to be a blue button that says download tool now. This is going to download the media creation tool. Once it's done downloading, simply click on it and run the application. This tool is quite useful because it's actually official tool from the Microsoft. So you know you'll be getting the most clean and the safest version of the operating system. Supposedly Windows 10 is going to be the last operating system from Windows. They are only going to upgrade it as the time passes, but if that does end up to be truth, then all these steps should be the same no matter what year you watch this in. So there we go. So first things first, we click accept. This is a fairly simple step, but as I will be making my series on installing operating systems, I wanted to introduce you guys to all of the steps so you can find anything. Now here's a couple of options you are prompted with. You can upgrade your PC now depending on what operating system you are using or you can create an installation media, which is what I'm going to do for another PC. I'm going to create an ISO file, so let's click next. By the way, this option is also useful if you want to install the operating system right off the USB flash drive. Anyhow, I'm going to click next. In this particular window, I'm going to select the versions that I'm interested in. You can untick use the recommended options and you can select whatever language edition that are available and the architecture. When it comes to architecture, this depends on your computer's processor, your CPU, what kind of architecture your CPU has. There are a couple of ways to find this out. If you already have installed Windows operating system, go ahead and open your system properties by right clicking on the computer going to properties and look for system type. This says 64-bit operating system for me right here. The safest way to find out what architecture you need, and I know it's a big word, but don't worry, it's nothing crazy. All you gotta do is look for your processor on the internet and you should find information for your processor. Just type the name of your processor. It should be fairly easy to find this out. When you bought your computer, you probably got a little book or some kind of paper that says what kind of components you have in your computer and there you should find what processor you have. Another way to find out what processor you have is to install the program called CPU-Z. This program is actually going to tell you what processor you have and then you can Google it and then you can simply open the first link and look for, we find instruction set, it says 64-bit. So long story short, just find out what processor you have and then Google it and you should find this information very easily. Also, you can always ask questions online. There are a bunch of forums, bunch of websites and find out more about this. I'll probably make a separate video to show you how to do all of this. So check out my channel. Also, long story short, most modern day computers use 64-bit. But if you are really unsure, you can always check both. Look at that, just both. There you go, simple stuff. Anyhow, I'll select 64-bit, click next. Now I have the options what kind of media do I want? Long story short, do I want to put it on the USB flash drive or the ISO file, which is what I am looking for. This option is also used if you want to burn this image onto a DVD or any other disc for that matter. So I'll click ISO and click next. Now it asks me, hey, tell me where you want to save this. I actually have a folder operating systems, so that's where I'm going to save this. And I'll also name this Windows 10 Pro. ISO and click save and there we go now as you can see the tool tells me hey I am downloading Windows 10 feel free to keep using your computer also try not to shut it down it doesn't tell you that here but if you turn off your computer this process terminates now that your download has been complete you have a couple of options I'm gonna click this first option which is going to actually open up the folder where the ISO is located. Now you can choose to burn this to a disk, to a USB thumb drive, or even install this to a virtual machine. But the bottom line is, now you have the safe, clean ISO. And in the upcoming videos, we're gonna explore how to install this on the computer, on a virtual machine, as well as install from a USB thumb drive. So check out the channel for more videos. Also, there's a little I notification letter up there in the corner that you can click and you can probably find these videos. So that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this video helps you out. Consider rating, commenting, subscribing to the channel to follow the series of installing operating system. And that's about it. I'll see you in future episodes.
Freestyle. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never